Hey guys, so we do. We went to a car boot sale recently and we bought a few bits and pieces. So we're going to go through it and uh, show what they are. If you want to take something out, then have a look at it. Of course. Let's see if we've got the magic bag here. Ooh. The first wrapper. <laughs> so we got a little. A crystal bowl. Perfect for storing all your sweets and peanuts in, or whatever it is, and it has it which, which, which suits such a fine textured glass bowl as it is. And this was fifty pence. We'll put that to the side. Hmm. It was so nice to provide us with a newspaper. Ah, there should be a set of two of them if I've got the other one. We will only one each. Yeah, it, yeah, don't hold this one just yet. Just hold it like that for a moment. Okay. Okay, we'll put them together. Just have a guess at what these are. And it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly open them up. Two crystal candelabras, two pounds, a little detail inside as well. Perfect should all the lights go out and thanks to the crystallization it should on a nice sunny day it, it can create a little bit more light for your living room, your bedroom, your bathroom, wherever you wish to put them. So should you, so, so should you feel like you need you need some cheering up. This could provide her a nice rainbow, a nice sunny day. A nice prism. Okay, we put those to the side as well. Do you want to take something else out? Hmm. Oops. Yeah. Now what is this one? Unwrap, unwrap, unwrap. Ooh. It says Sarawak. A, an, a fine glazed Sarawak black uh, pot. It's a little <coughs> vase. There we go. Porcelain. It, 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 what is it, it, I don't know. What's the design? I mean, like, I, I, it's tribal, I think. It looks tribal to me. And that one was a pound as well, I believe. Over there as well. Want to grab something else? Okay. This is something. This is something you, you welcome, Mark. I think would appreciate. Oh yes, of course. Uncle Mark, if you're watching this, I think I think we just I think we just adopt another little owl for you. Yep. And this was one pound as well. And it is a, a lock locky locky fed. Scotland. Logilfeed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to Scotland. Uh, some little owl, which again, like I said, was a pound. A little barn owl. A little barn owl. A little barn owl, okay. yeah. And the next it item. Didn't. Barn owl's actually my favourite. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we, you can keep him instead and we'll get a grab another one. What, what do you think, Uncle Mark? He says no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <coughs> ah, we got ourselves a little puzzle picture game here. Uh, it's called Picture This. Uh -huh. uh, in this game, you will be presented with a series of puzzling close-up photographs. Guess what the picture is to win the card. The first player to cut five cards wins the game. So get your thing caps on. And guess the picture to win the game. Three players plus... Uh, I believe that was a pound as well, wasn't it? I believe you wanted to get that you like for um, guests whenever they pop over. Yes, especially the photography friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have... Huh. A very special kind of soap. 
Ah, right, I remember this one. Yeah. Because the person we bought it off actually stated that this is an old World War II soap. And it actually has a date on here. 1940, it says 1945 on it, so I would assume that this was one of the ration soaps because it is an, only a 50 gram bar. Well, it's not really a wartime thing though, is it? Because the war ended in 1945, didn't it? Yeah, but car boot sales, people have things from all eras there. And this is papered, wrapped papered uh, soap, which you can't really get these days, called Lock... Oh, I can't read the name on it, but it's Lock Locketan. Tan. Lock Tan. Savon Extra Dew Soap. Hmm. We would but it says milk on it, so I'm wondering if it's a milk soap. We would love to smell it, but uh, unfortunately at the moment... Well, we can, because we got this one because it was unusual. We can open it. And it's got a little um, cardboard inside. Look look at that. Can you so, smell it? Oh, wow. That smells really nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's really... It's very perfumey. All we'll do later is we'll put a bit of salt above the edge of it to reseal it. So that was the little soap, which is I picked up because it's quite unusual. Okay. That was, in fact, a pound as well. A little soap. And... Huh. Is it? A... Uh, t is it? <laughs> a little coaster. A little coaster with two tulips on it. And a foam back. This was 25 pence. 25 pence? Yep. Yes, and what's that glossing? What's that glossing though? Is, is that marble? This is um, not marble, it's um, tile. Mm. Mm, very nice. Enamel. Enamel, is it? That's what I was thinking of, enamel, yes. Hey. Huh. Ah, yes. And we have a. Let me turn it this way. We have a little frog bamboo placemat. Which I thought was kind of cute. And it, this was 50 pence. And I thought it was uh, really unusual a bamboo, wooden bamboo placemat. Do yeah. we have one of those ourselves? Yes. I've got three of them. I sent one to a friend of mine, which he should receive that in a few days. Yep, yeah, we've got we've got one. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't seem to drip or anything. No. Nope. Well, the drinks in the well, well, the, well, the drinks though, the drinks seem to behave themselves very well underneath that mat. On that. On mat. that mat. <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> now this is for this is for all the guinea pig lovers. As if you got a guinea pig, and egg, this will stop any intruders from stealing it. Okay. <laughs> I actually picked this up, and I'm going to give it to my mum, because she feeds my brother's guinea pig. And every time she opens the door, he squeals, so this will be going to my mum. Courtesy of Magnet and Steel Industrial. It's got a little description on the back of other things you can get in the range. Uh, and then how to fix it, and what how to clean it. And it's... um. Like a plasticky design. It's, an, it's, a, it's like a fridge magnet. This was a pound. Ah, now here's something. Uh huh. There's a sound for you. <laughs> you hold one, I'll hold the other. Now here's, an, 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 now here's something I would be interested in. Well, I got these because I know what he's like for his uh, mm -hmm. black stuff and his unusual stuff. These are the kind. Of, these are the kind of candelabras I use for my series of poetic horror. Mm-hmm. And these were a pound each because I wouldn't sell them as a set. Mm. But uh, two pound for candelabras again. Yeah. And they're very sturdy. They're metal, which means if you have an intruder, you can whack them on the end of it. But uh, yeah, the well, major. Well, she would. I would. <laughs> but then again, she's always one hunt for that kind of stuff. So. Uh, don't make me sound like a monster. Okay. I don't need to make you sound like a monster. <gasps> and the next item. <laughs> oh yes. 
It's a little silver can tea light holder with a really unusual little design on the top. Which I believe you could possibly turn upside down and have it so you had the candle on top as well. And then that way you can also have the candle inside. But what I think this used to be, I reckon there used to be a dish on the top of this so that you could put burn oils. So I'm going to actually test that at some point. I'm going to buy a little dish and pop it on the top and see if it burns oils. And this was 150 because it is in fact like a, a silver chrome metal. Ah, nice bit of jewellery now. What do you make? It, 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 yeah, what do you make of that? Would you say that's kind of religious or no? No, uh, it's not religious. No. But here we go. It's, it's got little silver crystals and a little black onyx stone, and then a plastic surround. I thought it, I thought it was onyx. And it's got a little um, lace chain with a silver cut hook. This was fifty pence, and I actually only bought it for the chain because I snapped a chain recently. But you got like the design, though, don't you? But I do like the design. But the idea is, I want to put that on a leather chain that I have in the house. What does that? What do you think that represents? Do you think? I don't think it represents anything. It's supposed to look like a tie pin type of design. Okay. But it's still quite pretty. Yeah. And that's the last item. Yes. <laughs> Before I show this, I must have a bit of inside information. Kim here, right, has got a thing in here for castles around Wales, or like around Britain as a whole, basically. In fact, she's kind of, she's kind of a castle fanatic. I wouldn't say fanatic. I just like the the castles and the history of the castles. Um, I did a video recently of four castles in Wales. I found I found this on one of the many bookshelves they had in the shop. Oh, but uh, she showed it to her, she instantly jumped to it. And, and well, so this, was, you see, what we should explain is the other stuff was bought from a car boot sale, but this was from a charity shop. We have the Natural, sorry, yeah, the National Trust Book of British Castles by Paul Johnson. This was £2. There's the, there's the price sticker there. <laughs> hmm. And it's got uh, everything, of... it, 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 everything you need to know oh, about the castles around Britain. In past his, uh, uh, past histories, where they are, are, and how long they've lived. And I believe on in here somewhere is a couple of ones showing old castles and new castles. There is one everyone should recognise from my video, Caerphilly Castle. And there's like old blueprinty type ones in here showing what they used to look like. Um, all sorts of different bits of information on them. <coughs> a very interesting book and a book I'm looking forward to reading. Possibly do a, a video out of uh, reading different bits out of the book, maybe. Yeah. But, uh, put back together like that. Yep, we've got a picture of a, a castle on the back, or at least the interior of a castle on the back. Yeah, I shall look forward to that. Yep. And, uh, that's all of that. So all together we spent, what was it, just under a tenner mm. on stuff for when we move in together and other interesting little bits and pieces. If there oh. are any, if, if, if there are any, any, any like, like little, little topics or projects right, that you wish that you wish it, it, me and, and Kim here to partake in, in, in right, please send please send a comment in, in, in down below. Oh, and um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll decide amongst ourselves else if we'll do it or if we won't. Yeah, some suggestions would be good. Some all, all, all suggestions and are, are, are okay and here with us, but of course we got to think things through with YouTube and everything. So, so nothing that requires no clothes, things like that. So, decent. It's very distinct, isn't it? Well, yes, basically nothing that could be known as pornographic, <laughs> as somebody has suggested in one of my other videos that I had to take down, unfortunately. <laughs> It'd be a good idea to look up the YouTube regulations about what is allowed on. So, which I have done. So, any suggestions would be welcome for uh, some more videos in the future. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that is all. Of, that was our entire haul of the stuff we did the other day. It was a lovely day. We enjoyed the walk and the fresh air. Yeah. And we will. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, we'll do another another video similar to this again, probably once we move, because then we can know what we need and what we don't need. And uh, well, thank you very much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you all in our next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.